seventh grade lesson 11. This is about comparing, or I'm sorry, combining and separating. So this is basically word problems, okay? And so there are two types of word problems we're going to learn about today. And the first one is when you combine two things together, okay? So the first one is a story pattern about combining. Okay, if you want to write that down, you can. But it's kind of like um, I have some money plus I have some more money. That equals my total. Okay? And so this is a combining problem because I get a certain amount and then I combine some more to get my total. Okay? So this is one of the story problems you'll be reading. Okay? The word problems. Okay? And this is an example of what you would say. So... So what you would do is listen to the story. At the end of the first day of camp, Marissa counted 47 mosquito bites. So I'm just going to write down some information. There are 47 mosquito bites. I'm just using abbreviations. 47 mosquito bites. The next morning, she counted 114 mosquito bites. The next morning. Then it asks this question, how many new bites did she get during the night? Okay, so where would my 47 go? Which which one is it answering? She, uh, 47 is some. Uh -huh. So she had 47 mosquito bites. And then it says the next morning she counted 114 mosquito bites. How many new bites did she get during the night? Where are the new bites going to go? Uh, some more. Uh huh. So I'm just going to put in for new bites, okay? And then when she woke up the next morning, how many did she have? 114. 114, okay? So this is the equation. You learning how to write these equations is very important, okay? And then remember what I taught you the other day? Whenever you have a missing add in, do you remember what to do? Uh, when you ever have a miss, which one's that? Missing add in to remember those. Oh, you add subtract. Ends. You subtract, okay? If you don't remember that, remember that um, way I taught you? You always look at the biggest number, Isaac? Yeah. And you ask yourself, do I need a bigger number here or a smaller number? Well, if I had a bigger number than 114 here, and then I add 47 to it, it's going to give me a way larger number than that. So I know I'm going to need a smaller number here, right? Mm -hmm. So how would I do this? What would I do to answer so, this 114 problem? minus 47. 114 minus 47. And that's going to give us what our answer is here. Six and I'm just going to cheat real quick and get we're going in. 67. Quickly. It's going to be 67. So let's see. You don't ever stop there. You always go back and put it inside of here. So let's take this 67. Do you think 67 plus 47 is going to give us 114? Yeah. Then that, that means we've done it right. And you can even check it. 47 plus 67, and we do get 114. Okay? So your very first step is to come up with what kind of, what kind of story is this for you to realize? Oh, this is the sum and sum more equals this, so I know that I'm combining things. Then you come up with the equation. Then you perform the problem. And then you check the problem to make sure you got it right. Okay? So that is when we're using combining stories. Okay. The next story you're going to learn about is separating. Separating. Okay? Separating stories. Okay? So, for example, this is what you would need to write down. I have a beginning amount. I'm not going to write this on your paper. Don't write it. You might want to. Oh, okay. And then some went away. And then our equal is what remains, what's left. Okay? This is a separating story. Okay? So I have a beginning amount, and then some went away, and then what's left or what remains. Okay? Here's an example of that. So listen to it, okay? Tim baked four dozen cookies four dozen cookies okay and while they were cooling he went to answer the phone and when he came back only 32 cookies remained okay his dog was nearby licking her chops how many cookies did the dog eat while Tim was answering the phone okay what do I need to do with this first of all 
Oh, uh, you need to put it in the actual number. That yes. Is. Okay. Four dozen doesn't help 48. us. So how many four? Okay, 48. so there are 12 cookies in a dozen, right? So 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 equals 48. So there are 48 cookies. So I'm going to write 48 cookies. All right, so that's our beginning amount, right, Isaac? Mm -hmm. You had 48 cookies, okay? How much went away? Do we know that yet? No. No. So I do not know this. I'm going to put an S there for some went away. Okay? And then what was what remained? Do you remember that? Oh, I don't remember. Okay, only 32 cookies remained. Okay? So I have 48 cookies, and the dog ate some. Some went away. Then I have 32. So this is the equation you're going to write, Isaac. Got it. See that? And it's a problem about separating. Okay? And so... Now, how am I going to get this answer? 48 minus 32. Okay, so you would ask yourself, you look at your biggest number, and you say, do I need a bigger number here or a smaller number? And you would see that you need smaller, so you always subtract to get smaller. So I take my two numbers, 48 minus 32, and what would I get? 16. 16, you're exactly right. So how many cookies did the dog eat? 16. Do I just stop there? No. I put the 16 in there to see if it makes sense. Does 48 minus 16 equal 32? Yes, it does. That means we did it right. Got it. Do you understand? Yep. All right. That is lesson 11.